There are a few developments in the city of Red Deer that are taking place right now or about to get started, and they are going to have a massive impact on the real estate market and the local economy. So you're gonna to wanna to know about these because they might impact your decision on where you wanna buy a house or what part of the city that you wanna live in. What's up everybody? Thanks for checking out my channel. My name is Kyle. I am a licensed realtor in the area. So if you do find my videos helpful and you feel like you jive with me, use this info popping up. Feel free to get a hold of me anyway. Like I help people make the move here all of the time. All right, let's get into the first project that we want to talk about in this video. I am super pumped for this one. I think it is the most important one. We're going to talk about the expansion of the Red Deer Airport. Now this is going to be huge, not only for the city of Red Deer and the immediate area surrounding the airport, but for all of central Alberta really. Red Deer is already a logistics hub because of its location and increasing these transportation lines and making our airport that much better. It's gonna attract a lot more businesses to the area as well as a lot of people wanting to make the move here. So let's get into this expansion a little bit. It is a $30 million expansion. I believe it's three phases. They're kind of in the early stages of phase two. Now, right now the Red Deer Airport, there's not a lot going on there. There's not really any passenger flights. It's mainly used for charter services private flights, they'll do some aircraft maintenance and some training out of there. But because of this expansion, the Red Deer Airport is going to be capable of handing much larger planes. For example, the Boeing 737, I know everybody knows that planes, which means we're going to see more commercial and passenger flights out of the Red Deer Airport. Now, I don't think there's any immediate plans for international flights. I think with customs and all the things you'd have to set up for that, it's not quite ready, but you will be able to access major Canadian hubs like Vancouver, Toronto, Montreal. Of course, if you want to fly to Edmonton and Calgary, if you're super lazy, you can do that. Although I don't know why anybody would drive there. It's a pretty dang quick drive. The fastest way would be seaplane. So this is super exciting. This expansion, it's expected to create about two to 300 jobs just to get it done. And then 300 to 400 jobs afterwards. And just north of the airport, there's a 220 acre plot that's earmarked for business and industrial development. So again, being such a central hub and a logistics hub, you're gonna see a lot of businesses wanting to set up shop there. Now, Red Deer's airport is located in a little village just south of Red Deer, just south of Gaston Alley called Springbrook. Now there's not much going on there. It's basically, in my opinion, it kind of just feels like a suburb of Red Deer that has an airport in it. There's one general store, so not a lot is happening there, but obviously you can see from all the stuff that's going to be taking place, all the jobs that are created, all the new businesses that are setting up, I think you're gonna see a ton of growth in Springbrook. And just south of Springbrook, is a little town called Penhold. It's got about 3,500 people, and it has already been one of the fastest growing municipalities here in central Alberta over the last few years. It is a fantastic little town, and lots of people are starting to make the move there. You're seeing new rec centers, and it's got schools, dentist office, doctor's offices. I think with this airport expansion, you're gonna see that place become even more popular than it already is. So investors, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this kind of stuff. They suddenly start buying up all this property. It's a Good investment, yeah. long term. And of course, the city of Red Deer itself and central Alberta, again, anytime you're increasing those transportation lines, you're making this area look more attractive. And just to add to that, it's already becoming a more popular area. A lot of the bigger centers in Alberta, because there's so many more people moving here from out of province, you're starting to see those prices go up quite a bit. Calgary, I mean, it's much, much more affordable than places in British Columbia and Ontario, but it's starting to get expensive there. And I'm having a lot of people call me actually who live in Calgary ready to make that move to central Alberta just because the real estate is just a little bit more affordable here and it's within their budget. So I am super excited for this expansion. I think it's supposed to be completed over the next five to six years is what I read online. You read a bunch of different stuff online, so we never know exactly. However, it is underway. It's already at the beginning of phase two. So this is super huge and awesome for the Red Deer area. All right, let's get into number two. Let's talk about another important development that I think is super important for you guys to know about. Let's talk about the Hazlat Lake development that's going to be taking place up on the north end of the city. So if we look on a map just north of Highway 11A and just east 
of Highway 2 is where the Hazlat development is going to take place. Now there's 350 acres up there. They're going to be roughly 2,000 residential units with a wide variety from detached homes to condos to row townhouses. And there's supposed to be a really big emphasis on rec outdoor recreation there. So there will be a ton of interconnected paths that weave through the neighborhood. And this network of paths is also supposed to connect into the broader network of trails throughout the city of Red Deer, which is over 110 kilometers of paths, by the way. Now, something really cool about this area, and it kind of kind of took me by surprise actually because Red Deer it's such a green area we have a beautiful river valley we have tons of interconnected walking trails and parks all throughout the city has that will be the first residential development that will actually be built around a natural lake and not a man-made lake. So I thought that was a pretty cool feature of this neighborhood. Now, I was also talking to a member of the Hazlat family this morning, and I thought the Hazlat Lake was just going to be residential developments in the area that we talked about. However, there is some land earmarked for businesses and commercial development on the west of Highway 2, just north of Queens Business Park. And he said to me, is there any reason why Red Deer shouldn't have an Ikea or shouldn't have a Cabela's? And I totally agree with him. So maybe that's some foreshadowing of some things to come. I don't know, but I think it'd be super cool if we got some really cool stuff like that here in the city of Red Deer. Well, Mrs. Pritchett loves to shop. Now, all of this development is going to obviously increase real estate within the immediate area. So I did a video last week talking about some of the most valuable neighborhoods so far in 2024. Kentwood, which is on the very northern border of the city, was one of the highest, I think it was the highest, when it comes to appreciation through the first three quarters of 2024. So you're gonna see a lot of these neighborhoods like Kentwood start to perform even better. Better, Johnstone, Oriole Park West. This is great for the entire north end of the city. Now, I do realize that one of the potential cons of living in this area is going to be that you are right along Highway 2. So you're going to get a little bit of that highway noise and stuff. But I mean, come on, people live in Airdrie. I mean, it can't get any worse than that. The highway runs right through the middle of the city. Or if you have that other perspective, this area is going to attract a lot of people who are commuting or lots of people want to be close to the surrounding towns like Black Falls and Sylvan Lake and Lacombe. This area is going to be great for those that are kind of looking to have that feeling of not really living in the city, but you are in the city and for those working near it. So I'm super excited for this development. I think it's going to be great for the North End. Has that Lake is definitely something that you guys should keep your eye on. They say, I'm talking to one of the members this morning, the timeline is not set in stone on when this is going to get started. They're thinking maybe next year sometime. It really depends on the population of Red Deer and how much it's growing over the next little while. And I think with all the developments that we're going to talk about in this video, we're really going to see that population start to boom. All right, let's talk about the next development that I am super excited about. This project has been coming for a long time and it's going to be huge for Red Deer's downtown revitalization. Let's talk about the Capstone project. Now I'm gonna go on record right now and say that this is going to be one of the coolest, trendiest areas of the city to live in once this is all done for a number of reasons. Number one, you're going to be right on the riverfront. Now in Red Deer, we have a beautiful river valley. Oddly enough, there is not a lot of options for living right up on the river. Either the neighborhood might not be the greatest, or you're gonna pay an arm and a leg to live right up on the river. It's gonna cost you a small fortune. So in the capstone area, you're gonna have beautiful views of the river. You're gonna have access to all of the parks and walking trails that come with the river valley. So I think that is super cool. It is a really walkable area. So you're right on the western border of downtown. So you have easy access to all of the businesses downtown. If you're working at the hospital, you can walk to the hospital. The college also, in my opinion, is within walking distance. And then you're right next to the Cronquist Business Park, which already has a ton of businesses there already, from coffee shops to breweries to organic markets to comic book stores. There's the old theater down there called Carnival Cinemas, which is the cheap theater. So this is a really cool area, plus all of the extra businesses and stuff that are going to come with this capstone development. Now, it will be home to roughly 5,000 people when it's all said and done and living in these modern townhomes and condominiums. And get this, the prices start in the low 200,000s, so it's super affordable. You're gonna attract a lot of people who are first-time home buyers, a lot of young professionals because it's location, 
And I think you're gonna see a lot of people who are looking to downsize want to move to the area. I actually had my old fire captain, he gave me a call, he's set to retire here in the next little while. And he's looking to sell his house and he's super pumped about the possibility of living right along the river in the capstone area. So this is going to be awesome for Red Deer's downtown. I think it's gonna give it a much needed boost. And I'm calling it right now. This place is going to be super popular. You're going to want to get in there as soon as possible, I think. I think these units are going to sell out super quick just because of the location. And again, I don't think you're going to be able to find this experience for now anyways anywhere else in the city. So I'm super pumped about the capstone development. All right, let's take a look at number four. Let's talk about a massive, massive project that's starting in Red Deer right now. It's supposed to be completed in 2030 to 2031. Let's talk about the hospital expansion. This has been needed for a very, very long time. It is a 1.8 billion dollar expansion, which is the largest in Alberta healthcare history. Now, just to highlight some of the most important points of this expansion, we're getting a cardiac catheterization lab, which is absolutely huge. We used to have to transport people up to the Royal Alex in Edmonton if they're having a heart attack. It's great to have these life-saving measures right here in the city of Red Deer. They're expanding the emergency department. They're adding 200 more inpatient beds, three more operating rooms. So this is going to be a massive expansion and those are just some of the highlights. They're doing a ton more stuff. Now this is going to be a huge boost to the economy and the real estate market. Just to get this done is going to create thousands of jobs. And once it's complete, they're gonna to have to hire a ton of healthcare professionals just to fill all of these roles that were created from the expansion. Now I had someone on my YouTube channel ask me the other day to talk about neighborhoods that have good investment potential. Look, the entire rental market in Alberta, in Red Deer is super competitive right now. It really doesn't matter where your rental property is, but some of the highest potential neighborhoods for renters and investment potential are those that are located close to the hospital and close to the college. So neighborhoods like South Hill, they were already popular neighborhoods for investor. Neighborhoods like West Park and Westlake, which are just over by the college. These are going to increase in even more demand once this expansion is complete. And we just talked about the capstone development as well, which is within walking distance of the hospital. So this is going to have a huge impact on the capstone development. I just think there's so many cool things going on in Red Deer right now. It's going to become more attractive to a lot of different people and you're really going to see those real estate prices start to go up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell. And if you would like any help with the real estate needs, my name is Kyle Dillman. Use this info popping up. Get a hold of me any way you'd like. Would love the chance to earn your business. All right, guys, I'll see you next week.